When a patient has difficulty breathing, a respiratory therapist is often one of the first healthcare specialists called to the scene. Respiratory therapists, or RTs, are specially trained to provide a wide range of therapies and diagnostic services to people with lung and heart problems. Their combination of skills makes them experts in blending technology with personal patient care. When I got into the profession, I thought it was just taking care of patients in the intensive care unit who are on breathing machines. Um, since I started it and got more familiar with the profession, the roles have expanded so greatly uh, and diversely across the hospital. Um, we seem to be the logical choice for a lot of uh, additional tasks in the hospital and working in different areas. In Ontario, respiratory therapists are regulated and licensed healthcare professionals, the same as physicians and nurses. They are essential members of the healthcare team, caring for patients across a wide range of ages and in a variety of settings. As a respiratory therapist, uh, day to day you never know what you're going to experience when you come to work. Um, and that's something that, uh, you know, drives some people, they don't want to be bored. And this is definitely a, a career that will keep you moving. I feel like I'm a part of the team and I, I need to be here to recognize that kind of thing and to save, potentially save a child's life. That's what we're all here for. <laughs> The education and skills of respiratory therapists make them vital members of Canada's health care system. It's a profession that requires a blend and balance of strong people skills and a full understanding of science and technology. RTs provide direct patient care and education to help patients and families manage chronic respiratory diseases like asthma and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, commonly referred to as COPD. As a respiratory therapist, uh, my day changes by the moment and my week will be different from week to week as well as day to day. So we will help patients with learning about their lung diseases, whether it's an um, asthma condition, whether it's a chronic lung condition called COPD or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. We'll teach them about those diseases, we'll help them learn about their medications, how to handle activities of daily life in a better way that they are more suited to be able to enjoy their lives. They are also responsible for the effective functioning of life-saving equipment and may have careers in the sales, service and training associated with that equipment. Respiratory therapists are educated to treat patients across a wide spectrum of ages. This can include the care of newborn infants, children, adults and seniors. Uh, what I do as a respiratory therapist in the OR is I assist anesthesia. Um, respiratory therapists, our specialty is airway and ventilation and that makes us uh, tailor-made to assist anesthesia. Sometimes it actually is saving a life when, when you can do something that needs to be done and, and it gives you a rush. It makes you feel good that you've really made a, a co contribution to society. You feel good about your job. I feel strongly that we have a very important role in healthcare as RTs. Uh, we have a, an excellent opportunity to deal with patients directly to um, provide them reassurance in uh, particularly a very vulnerable time in their life. Most new graduates are drawn to the fast-paced, demanding areas of critical care. For example, treating trauma victims, managing life support, or attending to high-risk infant deliveries. My role as a respiratory therapist is, is really uh, looking at promoting excellence in respiratory care which is really why we're in business. We're, we're in business not just for the immediate acute period, but we're hoping that we make uh, these infants uh, be the best that they can be. Having been doing it now for 18 years, um, I'm extremely satisfied, not only in my profession, but in my colleagues and uh, in the work that we do here. In this field, working so closely with such critically ill children and adults, it's very, very important that you have at least a little bit of life experience going into that so that you can handle the day-to-day -day emotions and the day-to-day -day trials and tribulations of this field. You really have the opportunity to not only impact patients but to impact their families and to have a really amazing, uh, an amazing influence on the lives of children and their families. Specifically in the neonatal ICU, I can think of one experience in that, uh, and one of the reasons that made me get into neonatology is that I myself as an infant was very, very premature and 
I had a mother a few days ago who was just beside herself that her child was so premature and were they going to be okay and what all the, what kind of problems is my child going to have and you know it was just really really understandably upset and I was able to sit down with her and say I was younger almost 30 years ago than your child is now and look at how far we've come with medical technology and just to have that look of relief wash over her face if I could do that one time every day that would just be be fantastic but she it was so amazing to me to be able to give her that sense of relief a career in respiratory therapy can also lead to positions in health administration therapists work in areas such as infection control management of outpatient clinics discharge planning and case management but it's important to understand that their primary role is in providing direct care to patients when SARS caused a health crisis in Ontario, respiratory therapists were on the front lines. When you cannot breathe on your own, the best person to have at your side is an expert. The respiratory therapist who can help you take that next breath. Becoming a respiratory therapist requires completion of a three-year post-secondary program offered at a select number of educational facilities in Ontario. In addition to classroom instruction, all programs include practical hands-on experience, working with patients and clients in real settings, such as clinics, hospitals, and home care environments. Degrees and diplomas in respiratory therapy are offered across the province at Algonquin College in Nepean, Canador College in North Bay, Conestoga College in Kitchener, Fanshawe College in London, the Michener Institute for Applied Health Sciences in Toronto, and in French at La Cité Collégiale in Ottawa. Career opportunities for the profession are increasing. Respiratory therapists are taking on advanced practice roles with expanding responsibilities. And as the population gets older, there is an increase in age-related cardiopulmonary disease. Both are factors leading to an increase in the demand for respiratory therapists. To practice in Ontario, all graduates must pass a registration examination and become licensed members of the College of Respiratory Therapists of Ontario. The College of Respiratory Therapists is not a teaching uh, institution. It is a self-regulating college enshrined by law to protect our patient public and to set standards of practice for respiratory therapists in the province of Ontario. The CRTO is firstly most important to the patients of Ontario because our mandate is patient and public protection. But it is important to RTs as well because it gives us an opportunity for self-regulation. Respiratory therapists are an important part of the college in developing standards and uh, protocols for respiratory therapists to adhere to and for setting the entry to practice requirements for RTs throughout the province. In Ontario, the professional interests of respiratory therapists are represented and promoted by the Respiratory Therapy Society of Ontario. The Respiratory Therapy Society of Ontario is a professional association that's been organized by respiratory therapists within the province and the intent of the RTSO is to ensure that we have a voice at the Ministry of Health level, that we um, have our finger on the pulse of where healthcare is going so that if there are opportunities for respiratory therapists and respiratory health then that we recognize those opportunities and advocate for them as well too. Well, it's important for a professional group like healthcare workers, like respiratory therapists, to have um, a common voice within the province itself. That way we can um, rub shoulders with other healthcare associations like medicine, and nursing, and physiotherapy, and radiology, and, um, and work out some of the details as to you know, how we actually all provide care. Together, the RTSO and the CRTO work to promote the profession to potential students and create awareness of respiratory therapy to the public of Ontario. If you're looking for a career that is fast-paced, always changing, um, isn't the same thing every day, um, and you can't plan your day, then this would be something for you to do. Very active, uh, it's not a desk job, um, and you should never get bored of it because it's different every single day.